depth, breadth, communication. The most important of these four is collaboration. People always say, yeah, collaboration is a great thing. We want lots of that stuff. Well, what do you mean by that? Well, it's a really cooperative kind of a thing. Well, what's, what's the difference? Well, it's like cooperation on steroids. That's collaboration. It's really, really. Now they've got to mean different things. Cooperation for us at Pixar is that thing that is a definition of a protocol that allows you not to get in each other's way. Think of an assembly line as the quintessential cooperative activity. The guy that puts the fender on on station one has to do a good job. And the lady that puts the headlight on on station two, well, the guy's job on station one matters. But in a sense, a cooperative enterprise could in some way be done, as long as you had enough time or other resources, by a single person. Well, I put the fender on, and then I walk down here, and I put the headlight on. There's nothing about the way job one is done that makes the person doing job two better. They can prevent job two from being done as well as it could be done. But there's nothing in the process that's optimizing that. Collaboration has to mean something different. It can't be a synonym for cooperation. Collaboration for Pixar means amplification. The amplification you get by connecting up a bunch of human beings who are listening to each other, interested in each other, bring separate depth to the problem, bring breadth that gives them interest in the entire solution, allows them to communicate on multiple different levels, verbally, in writing, in feeling, in acting, in pictures, and in all of those ways, finding the most articulate way to get a high fidelity notion across to a broad range of people so they can each pull on the right lever. One of the most amazing things about school is that we have this untapped resource in a sense. Our students are the solution, they're also the problem, but there is an opportunity there if we can find ways of invigorating that leadership on our campuses that um, some of the problems may get well on their own. And then we can focus on those things that you know are on the table that you have to handle.